MoneyWeb at Midday for all your up-to-date stories. Now, this is not exactly a new question, but it is an important one that needs constant re-evaluation. I'm talking about the role of corporates in shaping society. It's the topic of this year's Serious Social Investing Conference, which is taking place in Johannesburg. And business leader Dr. Judy Dlamini, one of the speakers at the event that has looked at new pathways to growth and impactful social investing. And she joined me a little earlier. And first then, what's the big issue here and how do do you see the role of corporates evolving in shaping society beyond traditional CSR efforts? I wonder if all of this, of course, is happening quick enough. The gauge for that for me, Jeremy, is um, the inequality gap we have in the country, which is not abating and uh, it's not getting even halved. So all those that have the means uh, are then responsible. So you can't say it's good enough. It will only be good enough if we can actually have timelines as to when are we going to have it. And uh, that involves igniting human capacity. It it involves creating um, uh, opportunities for everyone, especially those that are furthest left behind, uh, to, to be participants in this economy. Right now, they are not. And uh, it's not sustainable. So it's important, I think, that uh, corporates up their game in this respect. Do you think that there is a sense sometimes that they use social investment simply as a public relations or a reputational tool rather than driving real, important, significant, meaningful impact? There are some who use it as a real tool, but I think in the majority it's a ticker box exercise and or a PR exercise. So I I think we need to change it from just measuring the amount spent, you know, uh, to impact. If we have to measure impact, it will focus people in the right place. It's one thing uh, to give bursaries to a hundred students at WITS as an example. It's something completely different to be able to say, uh, we have, yes, given 100 bursaries, but you know what? Uh, 70% of those that we gave bursaries have qualified in the shortest period of time. For a three-year degree, they've qualified in three years. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So we need measurables that measure impact as opposed to input. So we need output that talks to impact. And Judy Dlamini, have you applied your mind then to new thinking on the way in which impact can be measured? Well, it starts just by that, to say, first round as an example, over the past five years, you've spent a billion rand for a number uh, on bursaries. Show us the impact and let's agree on the criteria and the measurables. One is qualification uh, within the allocated time. What that talks to Jeremy is focus by the funder on the wraparound support to the students because we put a lot on emphasis on money and money is only part of it. But when you have a student that comes from rural KZN or Eastern Cape, for instance, they have to acclimatize to a new environment, a new way of teaching and so forth. But if you have a wraparound like the Tutuga Bessary Fund projects like Umtombo Youth Fund, which actually looks at the psychology, psychological um, aspect, the extra tutorials and so forth, that has an impact on the outcomes. So if you say to corporate South Africa, because they are quite good at implementing what is going to be measured. So it matters therefore to measure the right Mm. things. So if you are saying an output of 80% qualified uh, bursary holders within the allocated time, they would then make it their business to check how they can achieve that. I hope I'm making sense. You are making sense. What I would like to ask you now, though, is what more can be done 
to hold corporates accountable for the long-term impact of that social investment that we've been speaking about? By changing what you're measuring. You know, the B scorecard, what are we measuring right now? Amount spent. Mm. Is that what was expected? Yes. Tick in the box, we're good, right? And I'm saying, let's change that. You need to beef up what you're measuring for you to get the desired outcome. People pouring money into something is not the desired Mm. outcome. It's a starting point. What is the desired outcome? What are you solving for? If you say as a university, and I'm using education because I'm closer to it. If you say as an education, uh, we have these PhDs uh, that are uh, churning out IP. How are you going to measure if that IP is changing the dynamics in the country is relevant? Mm. By how many of those IPs are actually commercialized? If you measure that, instead of we have so many patents as a university, 100 patents, great. But how many of them are actually commercialized? How many businesses are we starting out of that uh, those patents? So it really is about what you're solving for and are you measuring outcomes for, for what you're solving for? There, Not just numbers. There, there is an argument that corporate social investment should be mandatory. Does that sit well with you? Of course it does. The, the bigger problem we have, Jeremy, is that our democracy is at risk as long as we have the majority not participating in this economy. We have the majority not well equipped to participate. So anything that gives a country a risk, I mean, corporate South Africa understands this, you mitigate against risk, you put it up there, top 10 risk, mitigation, probability, and all those good things. Let's do that for the country because for us to have sustainable businesses, we need a sustainable country. Judy Dlamini, thank you very much indeed.